The year is 1980. The world population is half of what it is now. A pill-addicted cheese wheel started running away from us in the demons. And in the city of New York, where parking meters make more than the average Brazilian makes in a year, a 15-year-old kid named Darius McCollum just hijacked a subway train and drove it from 34th Street to the World Trade Center, making all the stops and all the right announcements along the way. You kept making all the stops? <laughs> well, people kept ringing the bell! After someone saw that an excited individual was conducting the train and every stop was made on time, they called the police because they knew something was amiss. And when said police arrived and asked young Darius where the train conductor was, he said, I don't know. I'm the train conductor? Transit Authority officials were stunned, to say the least, late today when they heard a 15-year-old Queens boy had actually hijacked a subway train and taken it for a joyride. Stopped at stations along the route, let some passengers get on, some passengers get off, had a fine time. And while his escapade with the subway made him a new sensation overnight, earned him an arrest on the spot, and the Metropolitan Transportation Authority of New York, or MTA, looked like idiots. How could they let a kid take control of one of the trains with hundreds of people aboard? And how was he so goddamn good at it? You know how corporations offer entry-level jobs who want you to have years of experience already? Well, Darius finally figured out how to do that. In the being three minutes late industrial complex server, they didn't appreciate it at all. At age 17 and age 18, Darius applied for jobs at the MTA, but both times he was rejected due to his prior arrest. Alright then, I'll be back with experience. Because neither the arrest nor the rejection did deter Darius, who continued to hijack trains and buses throughout the 80s and 90s, citing him the nicknames Train Bandit and Train in the Neck. He became a minor cult figure in New York, as he was not stealing trains and holding them for ransom, but he was always driving them on their regular routes with all the appropriate safety and passenger announcements. Good morning passengers, the Dynamite D train making express stops. Next stop on this train will be Fordham. Please step in and step out and please stand closing doors. Next up on this train will be 34th Street and 6th Avenue. He was said to know more about the train schedules and procedures on rail operations than any other employee working at the time, never got into any accidents, and was always said to be kind, excited, and on time. And the MTA was like, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> we can't have that. And still never considered hiring him. Along his journey to 19 separate arrests for quote transit related crimes, he impersonated subway workers, got behind the wheel of a transit repair truck, driven dozens of buses through the whole city for weeks and stole more than a hundred trains. And this is how he did it. If you notice the bus is sitting here un unoccupied, so I can just go open the door, start the bus up and, and pull on out with the bus. Nobody would suspect anything because they probably think I'm just one of the drivers. There's a security booth over here, but guess what? There's no security over here this time of day. So it's like, help yourself. It's like self-service. Once you knew how to get into certain restricted areas, you would, for example, ask someone for a new MTA shirt because he displaced his old one. This is how you got a hold on all the official MTA uniforms, vests, and badges. In 1997, Darius went as far as participating in a strike for the employees. And he was like striking for better working condition and more payment and whatever. He didn't even work there. <laughs> and he was so passionate about it that the other employees were like, you know what? You should become a union representative ad time. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh and I'm super happy about that because they offer a service that's actually incredibly helpful for me at the moment. Because it's not that I don't want to eat healthy, it's just that oftentimes I'm just too strapped for time and then I give in to the temptation of just getting takeout or some microwave food instead of buying fresh groceries and cooking a healthy meal. And a lot of you can probably relate. With HelloFresh it's actually so easy. You just get the fresh ingredients delivered and all you have to do is to follow their absolute foolproof step-by-step -step recipes that even I can follow and you're done in less than 30 minutes. Everything is pre-proportioned so you prep less and waste a lot less food. Weeknight cooking this fall has been made so much easier for me. And on top of that, it's on average 72% cheaper than dining out. Whatever your goals are, whether you want to eat veggie, pescatarian, fit, or you just want a wholesome meal when you get home, go to hellofresh.com and use code HOUSETOAST16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. I'll say it again for the people in the back. Go to hellofresh.com and use the code HOUSETOAST16 for 16 free meals across 7 boxes and 3 free gifts. That's a lot of free meals. Give it a try. Add over.
In the year 2000, while Darius was starting his day in an MTA office, he saw a subway train had made an emergency stop at 57th Street. He went down immediately, evacuated all the passengers to safety, followed all the right procedures, and was arrested swiftly afterwards because another employee had seen his picture on a wanted poster. He was sentenced to five years in prison. While he was incarcerated, he assisted the government to close loopholes and vulnerabilities in New York's transit system that enabled him and would possibly enable others to steal trains and other forms of public transportation. Because, yeah, it was New York City in 2001 now. But since he was so cooperative from the get-go, they thought that he might cooperate with terrorists and other criminals all the same, and so he was put in max security isolation for the remainder of his sentence. Ouch. Unfortunately, this was one of those situations where Don't Darius was moth and sealing public transport was lamp. Find another lamp. Go. In 2005, he got out of jail. Then he stole a train and was apprehended at the Long Island Railroad Yard with keys to several trains in his pocket. Remember this detail for later. And so he went back to prison. In 2007, he got out on parole. And you'll be shocked to hear that the next line in my script is impersonate a railroad worker and went back to jail. In between his jail visits and subway escapades, he managed to find a job at Brooklyn's Transit Museum, where he was absolutely adored by the rest of the staff and the visitors alike. His encyclopedic knowledge and his genuine passion for anything related to transit. However, at some point, his bosses found out about his criminal past and he was promptly banned from entering the building. Although he finally had the backstory he needed to win the average televised talent show, Darius was at an all-time low. In 2010, he took a bus, and with took, I mean he took it, from a terminal in Hoboken, New Jersey, and drove back and forth from Manhattan and Queens to JFK International Airport, offering a free shuttle ride to all passengers. After a couple of hours of this joyride, the police apprehended him again, and he got another three-year sentence. He was released on Christmas Eve in 2013, and while others might have wished for Grand Theft Auto V under their Christmas tree, Darius was made aware that if there was a Grand Theft Transit 30 on his record, the consequences would be prison for life. You know, being downstairs in the subway or being around the buses, hearing the engines, you know, I still get the, I have to fight through all that stuff and it's kind of hard. Are you just getting on the subway to go to point A and point B or are you getting point on the a subway? Point A to point B. Have you been on any buses? Of course. Okay. I haven't been on the bus. Yeah. And you weren't in the driver's seat? No. Okay, good answer. And after two years of being sober from all train or bus escapades, on November 11th, 2015, Darius ran out of money, lost his apartment, and was set to be homeless the next day. He sought shelter at the only place he knew and stole a bus from the Port Authority bus terminal until he was arrested at the corner of Union Street and 3rd Avenue in Gowanus. Gowanus? This was the 30th arrest in 35 years for Darius, who at this point had spent more than a third of his life in jail. At this point, we are well beyond the how he did it station, and we have firmly arrived at the terminus why. Why go through all this effort to ride buses and trains? Well, Darius was diagnosed with autism, and while people with autism generally love rigid routines and are often drawn to transit and transportation systems because of that, there's another reason that explains him being drawn to all things transit. You see, when he was 12 years old, one of Darius' classmates wanted to do a puzzle. More specifically, she wanted to do the puzzle Darius was doing at the time. And so, she stabbed him in the back with a pair of scissors. Naturally, the school's hammer of justice came down with full force on her, and she got told off. Firmly. Like, sh she got told of firmly. No, no, no more stabbing, Susie, okay? With the stabber still at large, in his classroom, Darius would start to skip school from that day onwards. would rather hang out at the 179th Street train station, ride the subway all day, and instead of making friends at school, he started to befriend all the transit workers. They would show him all the ins and outs of the transit system and even let him ride along the conductor's booth from time to time. The transit system was his refuge and his happy place. You could say he was straight up buzzing. Remember earlier when I said that he was arrested because they found train keys on him? Well, the reason he had those keys was because they were given to him by another employee. You see, one of the reasons Darius was able to drive so many trains and buses without being caught was that he was often just covering shifts for regular employees. They all knew him, they all liked him, and they knew he would never put a foot wrong. At the time of his arrest in 1980, where this story began, he was taken over for another MTA employee who had some other 
appointment. At 15, he said he had driven trains for more than a year already. He covered shifts for employees for 30 years without ever giving away any names and without ever getting into any accident. In mid 2018, Darius was argued to be a menace to society by the Brooklyn DA's office and was sent indefinitely to Kirby Psychiatric Hospital, which has housed New York's most violent criminals such as the Cannibal Killer, the Upper East Side Butcher, and Darius McCollum. Although he was more impulsive than the average person in a math problem, I bought 12,000 watermelons. But at what cost? He definitely deserved to be treated better. When it comes to the MTA, I do understand the argument. Yeah, the nerve of these guys not hiring a guy who steals large vehicles full of people and operates them without training or licensing, putting hundreds of lives in danger when he clearly really wants to do it. I understand that they don't want him to work there at this point. However, with his condition and his compulsive behavior, and although requesting it on numerous occasions, he never received a minute of therapy while he was incarcerated. He can't get a job because of his record, he doesn't have any other skills, he can't remove himself from the transit temptation in New York City and move to his family in North Carolina because he's basically always on parole. He ends up homeless and the cycle begins again. Instead of locking him up as a track one dangerous criminal, we should maybe give him a job as a security consultant for the government? Like Frank Abagnale, the catch me if you can guy. Or maybe, at least, let him drive the prison bus. Darius said that even though he is where he is, he has <laughs> never given up on his love for the MTA. His only crime was loving transit too much. Also stealing trains and buses, but mostly loving transit too much. As for his favorite train line, that's easier. The D. For Darius. If you like my stuff and want to do me a big favor, turn on the notification bell. Apparently, that helps a lot with the algorithm. Thank you to my mega loyal patrons. Thank you to the new patrons, Ed Donaldson, Terry, USA Kilts, Jim, and Kevin. I like the minion. This might be your last chance to have your name be in the credits of all of my channel's videos forever, because that's only going to be a thing for my first 100 patrons. And we are almost there, and I thank you so much for that. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Have a lovely day. Metropolitan Transportation Authority, huh? More like me me Metropolitan T Transportation Non Authority, huh? <laughs> Got him. What a terrible joke.